Investors worldwide trust roughly 1.7 trillion dollars worth of their wealth by investing through factor analysis and it is picking up in India as well. Let us discuss what it means. We start our exploration of this space by first defining it. What is factor analysis? When you google it, you can find many fancy definitions. I will give you a simple one. Factor analysis is a quantitative techniques of making investing decisions. This definition has two parts: quantitative method and investing decisions. Let us break it down. First up, quantitative methods. Simply put, it is about crunching numbers and analyzing data to solve real world problems. We use these methods in a lot of different tasks that you may not even realize. Take weather forecasting for example. Agencies try to predict weather patterns, temperature or rain using atmospheric data. In sports too, quantitative methods are used to build game strategy and perform player evaluations. So the use of numbers and math is widespread and it is proven useful and reliable most of the time. Investing is just another problem that needs solving. But how are we going to use quantitative methods to make money? This brings us to the next part of the definition which is investing decisions. The problem of investing is very complex but simply speaking it would be like this. Choose stocks that make you money when their share price increases. And what could cause the share price to go up? Mathematicians and quants have spent a lot of time figuring out these patterns and they found some reliable ones. We call these patterns factors. Let us talk about a few of them. Imagine you are shopping for stocks just like you shop for groceries. You always want to get the most from your groceries at the lowest cost, right? You might find a high quality item on sale or a generic brand that's just as good as a premium one but costs less. Similarly, if you find a stock that is cheaper than others based on its earnings, revenue, cash flow, it is like finding a bargain at the store. Historically, these cheaper stocks tend to give better returns over time. This is known as value factor. Let us talk about another factor. If a stock has been doing well recently, it is likely to keep doing well. And if it hasn't been doing great, that might continue too. It is like betting on a winning streak or as Newton has put it, things in motion stay in motion. This is the momentum factor. Let us talk about one more. Ever heard people say buy good companies? This factor is all about investing in high quality businesses. If a company's underlying business is solid, its stock price will sooner or later reflect that. So quality businesses lead to higher returns. This is called quality factor. Okay, let us talk about the last one. Stock markets are living organisms run by emotional human beings. These human sentiments change and when they do, so do the markets and underlying stocks. The sentiment factor is all about using these sentiments to make investing decisions. Positive sentiment favors the stock, giving higher returns and vice versa. There are other factors too like low volatility, yield, size, etc. But how are these factors used in investing? Once we identify these factors, we need to define them with numbers. For example, when we talk about quality, we try to find a quantitative way of defining what is quality. We look at the data like profit margins, solvency ratios, asset turnover to give the stock a quality score. We can do this for all the factors of a stock and find its value score, momentum score, sentiment score. You get it, right? So if a stock has a high score in one or more of these factors, we consider it as a good investment according to factor analysis. Why do we trust this approach? Because these factors have consistently shown positive results in the past, giving us confidence that stocks with favorable factor scores are more likely to perform well in the future. And there you have it. Factor analysis is like having a toolkit of proven patterns and using math to decide which stocks might be the winners. 
it is like a smart data driven way to make investment decisions by using these factors and data we take the guesswork out of investing and help investors make more informed choices stay tuned for the next video where we deep dive into each factor